This is the favorite Buddha of the East. This is Amida, Sanskrit Amitabha. Amita means immeasurable, Bha is radiance. The Buddha of immeasurable radiance. Now, there's a legend associated with his name. When he was on the very threshold of illumination, he made a vow. He said, I will not accept illumination for myself unless through my illumination I can bring to illumination and release all beings. And so, when he achieved illumination, there broke out before him a great lake. And it was a lake of bliss. And on this lake were lotuses. And anyone who during his lifetime paid devotion to Amida would not be committed to another lifetime, but would be reborn on a lotus in Amida's lotus pond called Sukhavati, the place of bliss. If the person was not even nearly illuminated, his lotus would be closed. He'd be in a closed lotus. And he'd be floating on this lake, which would be a water of the five colors, of the five uh, elements. As the waters rippled, he would hear. All is impermanent. All is without a self. All is impermanent. All is without a self. Around the lake would be these jewel trees with jewel birds singing, and they would be singing, all is impermanent, all is without a self. Musical instruments in the air would be playing, all is impermanent, all is without a self. And presently, he'd get the message. Meanwhile, the radiance of the Buddha himself, like a setting sun on the western horizon, would be penetrating the petals and uh, they would open. And there he would be sitting as a Buddha in meditation, floating on the lotus pond. And presently in his meditation, he would dissolve into a rapture and transcendence.